Hello IPXers, we are here at Embedded World with David from On Semiconductor. He's going to talk about, get ready, get ready, high actually smart ITOF with built-in depth mapping. So, can you translate that Latin <laughs> into something that means something to a design engineer today trying to solve machine vision asset tracking with your marvellous train set that you have here. Yeah, that, absolutely. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's a train set. It is a train set, yeah. And, and actually what it's showing is a typical industrial application where you've got a conveyor belt with things moving. Yep. Now, but what you need to have is depth data. At the moment, anybody can do 2D. You can get a 2D image from a sensor. You need to get depth information. Right. That's exactly what this does. Yeah. It gives you that depth information. So why is depth important? You've just said what you have to get is depth. Yeah. Why do you have to get depth? Oh, absolutely, because it gives more information on the object. So it could right. be uh, bottles going through, so you want to see the height or the shape of the bottle. It could be uh, in a logistics application where you want to have the shape of the parcel. We're, we're enabling this through, um, it's called indirect time of flight. I won't go into the technology of it, but basically we have a smart ITOF and uh, it enables that depth. So, uh, and existing solutions, existing ITOF solutions, really struggle with motion. So That's type of, going around really quite quickly, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, so in this type of scenario, existing ITOF solutions, we've had to stop the conveyor belt, and then they would have to get the depth by stopping it. We do it while it's in motion, because we've got an advanced global shutter sensor, it can do it like a machine vision application while it's in motion, and you're getting that depth and shape size and shape of those objects while it's moving. Right, right. So today, if I didn't have that, if I didn't have this solution, yep. what would be what would be my solution today? Oh, yeah. So your solution today would yep. either be well, competing ISOF solutions, which aren't as advanced as ours, as yep. I say, they would have to stop it, or right. a completely different solution, like a stereo camera. So you'd have two different cameras looking at it. Which taking the two different... Taking the two, like the human eyes, yes. the way you see depth. So yes. exactly the same, you'd have two different cameras looking at it, and then you would have you have all the computation that you have to have, you have double the uh, cost because you've got two different cameras. Yep. So there's many reasons why you don't want to use stereo cameras. Right, right. So what are you actually getting there? What, so, so if I'm an industrial design engineer, I'm doing ASIC tracking. Yep. It's not really, really a railway set. It's 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 a factory somewhere that's got bottles. It's got cans. It's yep. got whatever it is. What do I? What am I actually buying into here? What do, what do I get? Is it is it a module? Is it software? What is it that I get with this solution? Okay. Well, with our solution, because all the depth processing is done on board. It's done on the chip. Right. That simplifies the design for the, uh, that's, for yeah, the, for right, the designer. Okay. So what you're getting is you're getting a depth map from the chip. You don't have to send the data off to be uh, processed off chip. It's all done on chip, so it really simplifies it for the designer. You could also get a standard image. So it's, it works as a standard camera, and it works as a depth camera at the same time. Right. So you can get a standard image, right. monochrome image, as you would with a normal camera, but you're also getting that depth map off the chip as well. Right. So when they come and engage with you, yes. they can either have that two-camera solution, yes. which is complicated, and you have to do different... Absolutely. You need to send the data somewhere to do the computation. Yep. But with you, this is actually just a, a, a module yes. with the camera and the compute and everything else. Every, so, every, so literally, they just they literally buy that. Well, this this is an evaluation system. Yes, we're, we're selling the sensor, and yep. we have partners that do the modules. So we right. have various partners that we can enable that are doing the modules. So as on semi, we we will enable a reference module okay. to make it very simple for the designer. So they would have a module that they can just copy. Really simple. So we would say, like, here it is. It tells you what the lasers you need to use. It tells you what the optics you need to use. The designer. So it gives you a whole infrastructure, a whole ecosystem that yeah. will give you and that they solution. Can copy that reference design. Now we're, we're not selling cameras. We're selling the sensor into that. Yeah, I understand. Solution, yep, I understand. But we're enabling that reference platform for the designer. Excellent. So. How do they today, so, so they, they, they've watched our video, yes. they understand that you're selling the sensor, they've understood that you've got a, 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 a different approach yep. to doing this. So how do they evaluate that today? So they say, right, I've, I, I've listened to David, What do they? how can they go and evaluate that for their industrial vision solution today? Okay, well, there's, there's two different ways to do it. Depending on the customer, a customer might just want the camera. If they want a finished camera, they then go to one of our um, industrial camera partners. I've actually just had a meeting with one of our partners, uh, IDS Imaging, who have uh, been public with their ITOF camera. Yep. So that's a finished camera, finished machine vision camera, already calibrated, you can put it into the system. Right, yep. so, so we've got multiple levels. You can either have 
an evaluation system where our customer will develop their own camera and we can enable everything that's needed for them to develop the camera or they can buy a reference module from one of our partners so they can then copy that or they can buy a finished camera from one of our customers. Right, excellent, excellent. Well, that's a very good introduction to what was High Actually Smart, you called ITOF. Yep. ITOF with built-in de death mapping and now we understand what death mapping is with your train set. Wonderful. Th I haven't had a train set demo at uh, Embedded World, so now <laughs> I have. That's fantastic. Excellent. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank you very much for your time.